Hello children. So again I am here with G Science Chapter 3 Animals, Birds. In Part 1 we have learnt about Types of Beaks. Hope you have understood about Types of Beak. And today in Part 2 we will start Feet and Claws. Children, have you ever noticed how birds able to sit on wire or tree? Have you ever noticed? So let's know how. So different birds have different habits. And so their feet and claws also differ in shape and size. So like the beaks, the feet and claws of birds also depend upon their living condition, kind of food they eat and their hunting pattern. Many birds spend a lot of time in perching on tree and searching for food and shelter. You know, I'm talking about which bird? So I'm talking about perching bird. You know, what is the meaning of perching? All of you look here. Perching means settling firmly on a branch. So perching bird like crow, sparrow, etc. They have long slender claws. They have three toes in front and one toe at the back. These toes curl around the tree. This helps birds to hold the tree branches firmly. That is why they do not fall off even when they are asleep. So now see the pick. See carefully. They have three toes. See carefully. They have three toes in front and one toe at the back. Can you able to see this? So one toe at the back. Each toe has a slender claws. See this slender claws. So this is called slender claws. Which help the bird to get a fem hole over a branch of a tree firmly. Even during a sleep. Even during sleep. And the examples are Sparrow Crow Bulbul So now next Climbing bird To climb upon trees So birds like parrot and woodpecker Have two toes Pointing upwards and two pointing backwards So these help them to Climb and cling to the branch of tree. Now if you see here which bird? This is parrot. So some birds have strong clawed feet. See carefully his feet. So some bird have strong clawed feet. Two toes pointing upward and two toes pointing downwards. So this helped them to climb tree by hopping. It also helped the bird to cling. See how he is clinging? Hanging. So it helped the bird to cling to branch when looking for food. So example are parrot and Woodpecker. Now if you understood about climbing bird. So now next. Flesh eating or praying birds. So birds like eagle, hawk and owls have very strong and sharp claws. Which are called talons. You know what is talons? See here. See. Talons means 
sharp claws of a flesh eating bird these claws help them to catch and hold their prey firmly so now let's see many birds have sharp toes see here toes so sharp toes and curved so these curved toes are called talons now you understood talons so with the help of talons they catch and hold their prey firmly while flying see how they are catching while flying their prey so for examples eagle hawk and owl so these are the example of praying birds with the help of talons they can catch their prey so let's see next next is scratching birds birds like hen and quail have sharp and hard claws which help them to scratch the ground to find seeds and insect they have three toes in front and one at the back also one very short toe at the back higher up you okay, know let's see some birds have strong legs that help them to run well in search of food and they are called running birds they have strong feet with see they have strong feet with three long toes in front in front three long toes okay and a short toe at the back that is known as hind toe okay each toe has sharp and horny claws which is used to scratch the earth in search of food all of you see carefully horny claws see this is known as horny which have nails so with the help of these they can able to scratch the earth in search of food i'm sure you have seen chicken scratching the soil and wonder why so well you know now now you have understood why they are scratching okay now let's know the example hen and quail so now next is swimming bird water bird like duck and swan have webbed feet you know what is webbed feet so these birds are swimming bird such bird have short flat and strong leg now see carefully short flat and strong leg each of their leg has three long toes in the front and one toe at the back see so one toe at the back they have a thin skin between their front toes see here see carefully thin skin between their front toes called web now you know the meaning of web okay these skin are known as web so these feet are called webbed feet okay so these feet are known as webbed feet so they are useful for swim so with the help of these feet they can able to swim so for example duck gull swan okay so now next is wading birds you know what is wading now let's see wading means walking through water okay 
Birds like cranes, herons and flamingos walk through the water. This is called wading. These wading birds have long leg which help them to walk in shallow water. Their spreading toes make sure that their legs do not sink into the mud and water. So they are wading birds. Birds that search for food near the seashore or in shallow parts of ponds, lake or river are called wading birds. They have they have wide and thin legs that keep their bodies above the water level. So these birds have wide spreading. All of you see carefully. So these birds have wide spreading toes preventing them from sinking in soft mud. Okay. So now let's know the example. Cranes, flamingos, herons. So these are the example of wading birds. Have you heard about birds that cannot fly but can run very fast? So I am talking about ostrich. Okay. So now last is running bird and ostrich. A running bird has only two toes on each foot. It has long and strong legs which help it to run very fast. So children, do you know why it is known as running bird? Because it can reach up to 70 km per hour running and it is faster than a moped. So ostrich has only two toes. See carefully. So ostrich has only two toes but it has very strong and long legs that help it to run fast but ostrich is big and heavy with small wings so hence it cannot fly and you know ostrich is the largest bird in the world now this chapter is completed so we have learnt about types of beaks and feet and claws. Hope you have understood this chapter. So now what you do in your homework? At first you read this chapter. Okay? You read this chapter very carefully. And then after reading this chapter you do this terms you need to know. This you write. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this 5 you write it in your G Science notebook. Okay. After reading this chapter you write this. And in next class I will discuss exercise and question answer. Till that. Thank you.